Hey everybody, Shelby here. It is the second week in April and I am out in my chicken yard on the farm and wanted to come to you today and build some compost bins. I have always had compost bins out in my chicken yard. As you can imagine with a herd of goats and horses and cows and a lot of chickens, I acquire a lot of manure and instead of just letting it go to literal waste, I use it for my gardens. So I've always had compost bins Ours got damaged a bit back when we were doing some tractor work in our chicken yard digging out our duck pond. And they were old and we they kind of got bumped into and messed up. So I decided just to get rid of those and build some new ones. So um, my husband would be more than happy to help me build these or build them for me, but he's always busy doing something also. And I am all about learning to do new things, but I uh, hope you enjoy this video and I hope it gives you some ideas or inspiration and let's get started. So guys, my tools for today are 10 pallets. They are not all perfect and they're not all the same size, but they're going to work for what I need and a drill and some deck screws. I don't know if that's right or wrong to use deck screws out here, but that's what I could find the bit for and I had plenty of them and that's how I roll. So. What I'm gonna do first is kind of dig a little bit of a trench where I'm gonna put the back three pallets and then I'm gonna get one side pallet screwed on first or screwed together first and I'm gonna go from there. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I've got two of the bins finished, and then this third one, I've got to get a saw out and cut down a little mesquite tree to get that last wall put up. And I also started, I have a couple of extra pallets, and I popped off some boards that I'm filling in on the gaps on what I can. And then for the rest of the gaps, I'm actually, I saved my feed sacks, and I'm gonna be using paper feed sacks. I'm gonna staple them to the bottom half of the bins. They will actually decompose along with the compost, but it will help keep the compost in while it's working. And then eventually, the only thing I think I might have to go to the, um, to go and purchase is I wanna get some fence slats and I'm going to make some, uh, I'm going to do doors here with, with fence slats so I can take them out as I need to take out the compost, but I can put them in to be like a, do a front door to keep my chickens out because they will have this compost scratched everywhere like they do right now until I, until I get it built back up in there. But anyhow, running out of daylight now and I will hopefully be back tomorrow to finish this up. Hey everybody, so it has been two days and I'm finally getting back out to try to finish up my compost bins. Um, I actually had Jacob, my husband, get out there and help me cut a few of the mesquites down. I had to take the kids someplace and he just got the chainsaw out and did it for me. And then he also helped me fashion a part of the front of the compost bins. That way I could have um, a slide closure deal. So I will show you what we did for that. And so I would say I'm probably about two-thirds of the way done and hope to finish it up tonight. Okay, so here's what we have done so far. I've got my three bin walls up and secured. Um, not all of the pallets were the same size, so we actually had to come in and cut a portion of them off. And then my husband helped me. We um, split a two by four in half or he did and then we put one on the front of each of the walls because we are going to be making a slide so I'm gonna have one by four fronts on each of them that way I can um, just slide slats I was gonna do fence slats but my husband said we had some one by fours and I wouldn't have to buy them so I'm going to get those cut today and the last thing that I will do is I'm gonna put paper feed sacks up along the bottom half. That way it just helps hold the compost in as it starts working and they will also 
it will also decompose eventually but I did not have enough slats to complete all of the back and sides so that is why I'm gonna do the feed sacks so gonna go grab the one by fours and get to measuring and cutting Okay guys, I think I am pretty much done with my compost bins, aside from some finishing touches along the inside with some paper feed sacks. I uh, used only what we had on hand, which I had said it was one by fours before, but we actually had quite a few one by sixes that were, I don't know, I think 12 feet long. And then we also had some one by fours that were I think they were like 15 or 20 feet long. So I ended up having an, almost enough wood. I didn't make the two outer bins the same height as the uh, middle one because I just ran out of wood, but really it's going to be perfect for what I need. Uh, so I measured all of my boards and in between each compost bin, it was a little bit different because like I said, the pallets were not the same size. So I measured first and then I cut all the boards and then I just got out all of my old, I had some old stain in my shop and so I got out four different colors because I like color and those of you who have chickens know that it's really hard to keep a chicken yard looking cute. Uh, once they've pecked all the grass down, it's hard to landscape it, it's hard to make it look pretty. And so I just thought this would be a really cute touch. Um, so I got it all stained a couple of different colors and slid the slats in once they dried and I am really happy with it. I am ready to fill it up with a lot of compost and get the compost working so I can get it onto my garden. I've already got my garden composted for this spring but I'll add some more uh, late summer towards uh, early fall and this will be ready by then. So thanks for joining me. If you have any questions you can put it in the comments. This was a really fun project. It wasn't hard. I did have some help from my sweet husband who jumped in and helped me cut some trees and also uh, split some two by fours, but it was totally doable. It is a job where you don't have to be totally perfect to make it work. Let me just switch this around and I will let you see from a different angle. And I did not stain the insides of these boards since I was going to be um, using it for compost. I just didn't want that in the compost. So I think it's gonna work out really well. When I'm ready to add more compost, I can just slide the boards out or when I need to put some in a wheelbarrow to take it to my garden. And I think it's gonna work really nice. Thanks for joining me guys.